What's up, YouTube? This is Lizard one here, and today I'm going to show you how to downgrade iOS 4.1 to iOS 4.0 or iOS 4.2. If you recall, I did make a video on this earlier. Have, however, I've been getting a lot of responses saying this doesn't work, error code, whatever. Um, it cannot. This build is not meant for this iPhone or whatever. So today I'm going to show you how to bypass those. This is just a completely new way to do this with similar aspects to it. First thing is you're gonna have you would have to have been jailbroken before you've done this. That way you could uh, access your SHSH files, which are the files that when you open Cydia for the first time it'll say make my life easier please and I'm sure most of you hit that button and then on the top every time you open Cydia thereafter it'll say this device has uh, SHSH files on file for 4.0 or 4.0.1. So pretty much what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to bypass all the um, the scans that iTunes runs to prevent you from downgrading. So the first thing you're going to want to do is have iTunes open like I do have here and your iPhone connected to your Mac. This is going to be a version for Macintosh users only. If you would like me to make a Windows version of this, please leave it in the comments below and I will do so as I have a boot camp partition on my Mac. So the first thing we're going to do is put the iPhone in DFU mode, like so. First, turn off your iPhone. So press and hold the power button for a few seconds until that slide power off. The slider comes up and just slides power off. Okay, next is tricky. I'm going to try to speak into my mic while keeping the iPhone in frame while doing this. So please bear with me. What you're going to do is... Press and hold the sleep wake for three seconds. Three, two, one. Then keep holding the sleep wake and press the home for 10 seconds. Then let go of the sleep and keep holding the home for about 30 seconds, but usually it's less than that. And wait for iTunes. All right, there you go. Once you get that little message up there, you're good to go. So iTunes has detected iPhone in recovery mode, even though it's DFU mode, but whatever, same thing. Next thing you're going to want to do is navigate to the Finder. All right, there's the Finder there. On the top, you'll see a little file menu, whatever, that says Go. Click on it. Click Go to Folder. Type in slash etc slash, then hit Go. I'm going to change this to the list view just to make it easier for you guys and I'm gonna maximize that and make it a little bigger you're going to want to look for a file called hosts and uh, just host not host.equiv just host you're gonna right click on that file and you're going to click open with there we go open with text edit Alright, so it'll come up with all this stuff here. So, what you're going to do is after this last one here that says 127.01.01.0.1, blah, 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 whatever, press enter and then you're going to copy and paste what I have put in the video description for you guys. Now, yours may look smaller than this. It's just because I have. Um, all these th other things for Adobe, for Photoshop, and stuff like that. But don't worry about those. Those will probably look different. Now, there are a few things that people are having problems about saving this from what I've heard. So, what you're going to do is to avoid all these issues. You're going to File, Save As. And you're going to uncheck this box that says, If no instruction provided, use .txt. Uncheck that. Save it to the desktop. Click Save. Alright, as you can see, the little thing has gone away. You can close that out and make your finder smaller. I'm going to minimize that for now. And you'll see the uh, file on the desktop. Simply drag it in back to the slash.etc slash folder. It'll say authenticate because you're going to replace something. And just type in your password. Let me put my mic down. Right, and I'm just gonna clean that up there. Beautiful. 
Okay, now, next thing, um, you're going to want to have a uh, iOS 4.0 or iOS 4.0.1 IPSW. I will put the links to those in the video description. And now you're going to option click the restore button. So click option and then click restore. This menu will come up and I'm going to click iPhone 4.0.1. Click choose, then hit restore. Okay, so um, I'm either going to take this part out or speed this up, the actual restore process itself. So I guess you guys can just sit back, relax, or enjoy the jump cut. Okay guys, uh, it appears that I have gotten an error message, error 1015. However, I, there is a way to bypass this message, as this video is about bypassing those annoying errors. Uh, blah, blah, no thank you. iTunes has detected an iPhone in recovery mode. You must restore. No, I do not need to. I found this pretty cool software called Recboot. And it pretty much takes your iPhone in and out of recovery mode. So I'm just going to launch the Recboot Exit Only. I'll put the links to this in the video description. I'm going to hit Exit Recovery Mode. Awake my precious. It's funny. I'm gonna wait for it to boot up now. Okay, now we've got the uh, little slider again. Okay, and here we are at the activation screen. And this is where you, if you do have a SIM card, you can definitely activate. However, because I kind of don't, I need to activate. So, might as well do that live with you guys here as well. So, I'm actually going to do this the classic way. With the red snow. <laughs> Guys, now that we've activated, I'll prove to you that this is indeed uh, 4.0.1. I need to restore from backup with this iPhone. Excuse the cracks. I'll be getting those replaced momentarily. General. About. 
I don't have my serial number. There it is. Uh, 4.0.1. Now, if you didn't believe that I was on a 4.1 before, um, really the only proof that I could give you is that it wasn't activated because you can't activate 4.1 yet. Not available yet. Uh, so anyway, that's about it. I hope this covered every error message, everything, hacktivation, all that stuff. I tried to make this video to clarify my previous video, which I will be taking down now. Uh, I want to make my videos, you know, work well. I want to make them professional. I don't want to confuse anybody. So I'm sorry if I did, but I hope you enjoy this video. Please remember to favorite, comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.